Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can install the MyLinuxForWork dot files for Hyperland, the advanced configuration, easily with a new dot files installer on a minimal Arch Linux configuration. You will see all required steps that are needed from downloading the Arch Linux ISO to install the base system in a minimal configuration and then on top Hyperland in a base configuration first and then on top the MyLinuxWork.files for Hyperland. I will install Arch Linux on a virtual machine, but you can do the same also on bare metal by creating a bootable USB stick with the latest Arch Linux ISO. And with that, let's jump in. First of all, we have to download the latest Arch Linux ISO. This can be done here on archlinux.org slash download and then scroll down, choose a mirror that is close to you and then download here the ISO file. This takes a while and I'm back in a minute. So download is completed. So 1.3 gigabytes is the file size of the ISO and I will install now Arch Linux in a virtual machine. So I will create here a new virtual machine. Click here on forward. Select the ISO. Here it is. Already automatically detected. Forward 16 gigabytes. 12 CPUs on my side. Forward we create a hard disk of 30 gigabytes click on forward and we customize the configuration before we start the installation because we want to enable 3D acceleration because later on we will need 3D acceleration. Here we are. Now we are ready to go and we begin the installation. And here is the boot screen. Very good. I switch now to full screen mode. And if you want to install Arch Linux on bare metal, you need, of course, create a bootable USB drive based on that ISO. Here we are already. The login, the boot screen is there. First is I have to change the keyboard layout. And then we are ready to go to install Arch Linux. And the best way to do this is with the script Arch install. Now Arch install will guide us through the installation process. Installation language English is fine. Locales. I will switch now the keyboard layout to DE. Latin 1. Here we are. Then the local language is fine. EN US UDF8. Local encoding UDF8. Perfect. Mirrors and repository. I will select my region. In that case, it's Germany and I can go back. Then this configuration, partition, I will use the best effort default partition layout because I want to use the whole hard disk. I will select the 30 gigabytes, butter FS. I will create sub volumes and I will use compression. Here we are and we can go back. So swap is enabled, bootloader is grub, host name Arch Linux, authentication, root password. And a user account, I will add a new user. And this new user should be also the super user. Confirm and exit. Back. The profile. Here we will choose the minimal profile. So only the a base installation of Arch Linux. Applications, not needed kernel network configuration. I will copy the ISO um, network configuration into the new installation. The time zone is in my case, Europe Berlin and the automatic time sync is enabled. We can start the installation now. Installation is done. Very good. With that, I can exit Arch install or reboot the system. I will reboot the system now. Uh, 
And here we are on Arch Linux and we can do our first login. Very good, everything seems to work. Okay, if we want to install now the mylinuxwork.files, files, we need a desktop environment. And I will install now Hyperlint as my initial desktop environment. And with that, I can also test that everything is up and running with Hyperlint. In addition, I will install more packages that I will need later on. Yeah, so with sudo pacman hyphen s, I will install Hyperlint. I will install vim kitty flatpak. Let's install it. Okay, installation is already done. What we also need is a browser. That's why I will install Firefox. And Firefox is installed. Okay, now we are ready to go to start Hyperlint for the first time. Here's Hyperlint, very good. And I will close Hyperlint for now with super M. I'm back in the terminal. Because I want to change something in the Hyperlint conf, I cd into dot config hyper and with vim hyperland.conf I can open the configuration and I will change now the screen resolution. To 1920 to 1080. And I will scroll down to the input section. Here we are, because I want to change the keyboard layout to DE. Now I can save it and I can start Hyperland again. And here we are. Very good. Now it's time to install the dot files installer with super key Q. I can open here the terminal and I can install the dot files installer now with flatpak. Flatpak install com dot my Linux for work dot dot files installer. Yeah, found on FlatHub and we can install it. I can jump to the second workspace with super key two and I can open another terminal and here I can start Firefox already. And on Firefox, I will open now the my Linux for work homepage. My news work dot github dot io slash dot files. So I can scroll down. Here is the homepage of the mylinuxwork.files. When I scroll down, I can find here the two links that I need now for the .files installer. Let's jump back to screen to workspace number one with super key one. And it's nearly done. Environment is installed in a second. And now as a last step, the .files installer. All right, done. Now we can start the .files installer with flat pack run com dot my Linux for work dot files installer. And here is the dot files installer. Very good. Go back to workspace number two and we copy the link to the rolling release. Go back to workspace number one with super key one. We paste it here into that field and click on load. And the information about the dot files will be loaded now from the dot um, inst file from the internet. And we can read through, yes, this is what I want to install. And I click on download dot files. Now the complete package will be cloned to your computer. And you see that the dot files um, package includes a setup script. And with that setup script, we can install now all required dependencies very easily on your system. Just copy that path to the script. Open workspace number three, for example, open kitty again. And with control shift V, you can paste that link in and click on return. And 
and here is the setup script. So I want to start the setup now. I confirm with yes. And now all dependencies that are required to run the dot files will be installed. This normally takes between five and maximum 10 minutes, depending on your network speed. Okay, installation of the dependencies is done. And you see here, ready to install the dot files with the dot files installer. Let's switch back to workspace number one, because here's the dot files installer. And we can click now here on next. I can create backups of existing files. I will do this. Next, here I will change the keyword layout to DE in the settings form. The rest is fine. Maybe we can add here already 1920 to 1080 at screen resolution. Kitty is the default terminal and Firefox my default browser. Next, and I will activate the dot files now. Activate it and I can click on done. So now I can close the dot files installer and I can enter reboot. System is rebooting now. I log in and I can start hyperlint with hyperlint. And here are the my Linux for work dot files in the latest version 2.9.9 installed with the dot files installer. So very well, all dependencies are there. I can close here. I can open a terminal. It's working. Very good. Nautilus file manager is here. The sidebar app, yeah, everything seems to work. And at the bottom you have the dock. And with control super return, you can open Rovi, the application launcher, also working fine. That's it. That's the installation of the Minusworld dot files with the new dot files installer from zero on a minimal Arch Linux system.